Oh, it's a cold one, eh? Huh? Oh, hang on, hang on. Complaint department, may I help you? You'd like to complain that everyone else is complaining? That there's no snow? What's your name? Where are you from? Oh, Ross. Oh, I know you. You're the man with the white beard that loves to ski the east in the middle of the week when everyone else has to work. Okay, you want to brag a little bit? You were with the skiing weatherman, Herb Stevens? When the squall came through at Killington, you got four inches in an hour? Are you complaining about that? No, you're happy about that. Well, we've got a happy customer. What do you know? The forecast is so bleak. Oh, not another one. Yes? Paul, Butler, you're at Loon. Sun's out, gun's out, but it's cold, but you're happy? <laughs> another satisfied customer. Just up the road at Mount Washington. It's a bluebird Thursday. It's freezing outside. Mount Washington has had 136 inches of snow this season. 20 inches this year. It's been snowing two to four inches a day this year. The pendulum has to swing. This is our weekend to take down the Christmas stuff and get a little gardening done perhaps. The Saturday weather map is not too promising. Friday looks fine. Here's Saturday. Low pressure up the Mississippi Valley. It's going gonna, it's gonna to end up a little bit wet. It's not a washout on Saturday. Uh, more northern New York, southeastern Canada, and far northern New England. A little wet Saturday, but Saturday night, it is a wild one. There's going to be colder air undercutting warmer air in northernmost New England, much of northern New York, and especially Maine, Sugarloaf Points north into Quebec. A freezing rain event is likely. It could be strong to severe, mostly north of the resorts. But on a line from Mount Mansfield to Mount Washington, especially to Katahdin, we may have an inch or more of freezing rain by Sunday morning. It's the kind of situation you don't want to have to travel. And if you live or reside uh, north of, say, Baxter State Park or in that region, maybe a day or two or three or four without electricity. It's that kind of day. Uh, but every time it does get warm this year, you know, usually we get a system like that that comes in on the Christmas, New Year's vacation. So we're happy. We're going to get that out of our way uh, before the next holiday cycle comes in, middle of June, uh, January into February. Uh, there's plenty of cold in Canada, and that's the problem. That high pressure system coming into Ontario, lots of low level cold. And that's going to clear out Sunday afternoon. It's much better. Monday, we're kind of seasonable, not bad. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to start the cycle over. I think we're going to resume our two to four inches a day. Uh, of snow on and off snow next week and there could be another warm storm but any warm storm like this one is going to be preceded by some snow and have snow and or ice on the back side you know our logo <laughs> born from ice and after the credits listen carefully and no matter how much snow you get underneath there's that little sound and we'll have more of that sound no complaints allowed we'll see you on the slopes place here except for let me out keeps going out and he keeps coming back in <laughs> we actually have a little bit of snow on the ground here and the sun is out what are you doing Max? what are you doing hamming up for the camera yeah always a happy dog uh, why is the hair on the back of his neck standing up because he thinks that there's a greyhound or something out here ah.